Welcome back to another weather forecast, guys. And this is a very urgent, significant upload here. I ran, or I didn't run, but I rushed home from my cross country race and I, I got home as fast as I could, or my parents did, because we have major brewing Hurricane Delta. Last time I talked about it, it was a tropical storm. Now is a 145 mile an hour category four, ladies and gentlemen. It has strengthened a ton today. It's rapidly intensified and it is a brewing category four hurricane that is heading for Cancun. And they were not ready for this and it's gonna be devastating. The storm surge will be unsurvivable most likely. The wind damage obviously gonna be mental and they just weren't ready for this because Mexico is not supposed to get hit and there's a chance this could possibly have one more last rapid intensification to get it to a category five here or a little push of strength that can get us to a category five. It only needs 15 more miles an hour to get us to a category five hurricane before making landfall in Cancun. Not only that, for Mexico as well, a threat for Louisiana. Now a major hurricane expected from this to hit Louisiana as a category three. So not only do we have threats from Mexico, but even far in the U.S. as well. But before, before we get the video, please subscribe if you're new, hit the like button and post notification icon. But now let's get in this big tropical forecast on Delta. So here look at here's the looking at the National Hurricane Center. As you see Delta is the only thing in the Atlantic, and it is an absolute monster. Pressure sitting here at 956 millibars. At this time yesterday, I believe it was like 980. It's dropped well below 20 millibars since last time I made a video, and definitely well below uh around 24 hours or 36 hours, especially at that time frame here. But Moving west northwest at 17 miles an hour, so heading straight, heading straight for Cancun. The fact that it's going so fast means that it could possibly um, not weaken much over land, which is obviously extremely big. That's going to increase the threat for Louisiana because that means it will weaken less over land. It obviously, it's expected to possibly weaken over the cooler waters in the Gulf, but it's expected to maintain a major hurricane strength. Weaken a little bit, but still stay as a major hurricane as it's heading for South Central Louisiana. I will start preparing, not even evacuating if you're in Louisiana if I were you. But look at this, 956 millibars, 145 miles an hour. I mean, that that is just that's just crazy. I mean, that is just mental compared to what it was today at 100 miles an hour. A 45 mile an hour increase in less than 12 hours. That has to have break a record. Record, and this thing went from category three to category four in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So this is showing you how big and how this storm is absolutely brewing and an absolute monster. So it actually has yet to actually develop an eye yet, but it is getting to the point where it is. It's getting there. It's getting to the point where it's going to start getting an eye here. It has some chances earlier today, but I mean, look at this monster. It is nearing, it is definitely near the Cancun area, and that is not a good thing to see. I really hope those people in Cancun have left or have evacuated because I knew, I know they did not have enough time to evacuate or prepare because this thing, this storm wasn't even supposed to hit. Mexico, if anything, it was supposed to hit Cuba, and then it changed yesterday, and that's when it started changing. It actually changed yesterday. Only yesterday did this actually first show hitting Mexico. They've only had 36, if less than that, to prepare, and now if those people who didn't leave, it's probably too late now because traffic, no gas. I mean, it's basically too late at this point. Look at where the storm is, moving 17 miles an hour west, northwest. I mean, at that point, this will make landfall possibly the overnight hours early tomorrow morning like 3 a.m 4 a.m look just look at this monster it could very well develop an eye in the next few hours here would not be surprised but the banding's absolutely crazy got some nice inflow now it's outflow here warm waters 30 to 31 degrees celsius and it has taken advantage it definitely has taken advantage of those warm waters so this is actually the newest update here. This is, the, uh, I believe this is the five o'clock update here for the National Hurricane Center. Trucks from warning still maintained for the Western Cuba area, but for a category four, 
nearing category five this is a small wind field it's very small wind field the re the reason for that is because it it went it went from category two to category uh, high in category four in a matter of hours so it actually hasn't had time to really increase its wind field it's kind of like in the core of the eye of those eye wall that's where it's really brewing but like in those tropics from winds, those aren't extending because it just, it's everything has gone so fast that it hasn't had time to kind of adapt to what it was doing. It was growing too fast, so it wasn't able to spread its wind field. But as it goes over Mexico, and as it, it's definitely going to increase its wind field over the Gulf of Mexico, as it will have kind of more time to adapt. But uh, hurricane warnings maintained for the Cancun area, uh, just the western Yucatan the uh, the eastern Yucatan Peninsula, as you see, is going to get straight over there. Expected the possible make landfall around uh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Like I said, early morning, like just when it when the sun is rising. So the good thing is, it won't be an overnight hurricane where it's pitch black, but it will be making landfall right when the sun comes up here. So if you didn't leave, still you might. I mean, you're probably gonna get woken up by those strong winds. It's gonna, it's gonna sound like a train just going through your house here. As you see, can continue to do that west northwestern turn. It's gonna look like it's gonna hit Texas, or or those areas in the western Gulf, and then it does a northern turn. Expected now to head for around Morgan City, and sadly, sadly, Lake Charles, Louisiana, which got one of the hardest impacts from Laura, is in the cone here, and is actually not that far. It's just Louisiana is just not getting done with those hits. Crystal Ball, Laura. Travel depression Marco, even though Marco wasn't really that bad. And now another major hurricane. They even got some impacts from Sally. I mean, it is just nonstop a hit for Louisiana. But look at this right there. Expected to make landfall for Louisiana as a Category 3 hurricane. Borderline Category 4 as around 115 to 120 mile an hour storm for Louisiana. At around the evening hours of Friday. And they're going to go further inland there into the southeast there. But as you see, I mean, this is going to thrive in the next in the next few days for the rest of the end of the week there, next of the week. And this will be thriving. So big threats. Obviously, the biggest will be from, will be from Mexico. They, they were not ready for this. And it could very well straight into Category 5. And then right there to Louisiana. Not only have they gotten, they've gotten hit suit just constantly this season. It's going to be hitting one of those areas that got the hardest hits from Laura and the worst of the storm surge from Laura in that northeastern quadrant. So if this continues to do a western trend, it could end up hitting the exact areas where it just made landfall in the Beaumont area, in the Lake Charles area. It, 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 I mean, it's going to be definitely a, a not something you want to see anywhere at all, but definitely not what you want to see near Port Arthur those general areas near Cameron, Louisiana, definitely don't want to see those areas back in the cone. Sadly, they, they're back in a cone, though. And as you see the timing here, as you see those first winds will be arriving, those first tropical storm force winds will be arriving around 2 a.m. Uh, for, for Mexico. So, like, it's not going to be a big wind field. So, those tropical storm winds, they won't arrive much longer or much earlier than the hurricane force winds. I mean, those winds are going to go real fast. It's going to go from tropical storm force winds to category four, uh, category four winds and a category five sustained wind or wind gusts. Um, it's gonna jump because the wind feels so small. You're gonna be seeing those impacts within hours. So the tropics from winter expected to be around 2 a.m. and the direct landfall of the eye with that low pressure itself around 5, 6 a.m. So four hours of kind of increasing to the climax. And it's definitely gonna bring category five wind gusts but as of now, Category 4 wind sustained, but it could very well become Category 5 wind sustained if it continues to strengthen. I mean, it still has a good 12 hours, maybe 10 hours to become a Category 5. And I mean, if it strengthens 45 miles an hour in less than 12 hours, I think I can definitely get 15 in there 12 hours. But as you see, even expected the possibility, those tropical storm force winds arrive in Central and South Central. Louisiana around this Friday 8 p.m. Uh, but gonna most likely ride in the coastal areas around early Friday. So it's gonna be very windy Friday, heading up to this overnight Friday, early morning Saturday, like at 4 a.m., 3 a.m. Those really pitch black hours. It's gonna hit the Louisiana just like Laura. I, be I believe Laura made landfall around 
2 a.m. as well. So we're just seeing a, we're seeing a lot of resemblance with Laura and this uh, with kind of making landfall location wise and kind of timing of landfall. But as you see, now all the malls getting used to making the landfall right next to Cancun there. And heading, going to be doing a west northwest turn. It's going to look like it's going to hit. It's, it's going to look like it's going to hit Texas. But then it's going to kind of fool you. And do that northern turn there. And as of now, the majority are getting used to be kind of a Morgan City landfall. A Morgan City. And these aren't too far from Cameron, Louisiana. They're not too far from Louisiana. Uh, sorry, they're not too far from Cameron, Louisiana. And that's where that. That's where Laura almost made that. Laura actually made a direct landfall. The low pressure went directly over Cameron. We don't want to see this again. We really don't. As you do see, though, we do have around four. Well, actually, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have around seven models getting into a category five. Seven. Seven models, guys, getting into a category five. I mean, that that that's just crazy. We have one getting into 190 knots, which is around 210 miles an hour. Most likely, that definitely won't happen. But we do have kind of a decent amount of getting this to around... 160 miles an hour to 170 miles an hour as you see th this is actually not the newest update this is this is actually when it was 140 miles an hour but it's 145 on hours now so it could hey at this point if we had a new refresh it could be even more model getting to a category five and that's going to stay steady it's going to stay steady as a category four um once it actually um goes into the gulf it's going to stay as a category four for the next around three and a half days and it's going to kind of really weaken here uh but still going to be making a landfall there uh for louisiana as a very weak category three very strong category two around there so let's, let's go and check out look at the nam or the h4 if you're check out 10 meter winds here as you do see i mean they have this going up to 938 935 and that's a category five hurricane and then it should be making landfall there right next to Cancun is a 939 millibar storm. And they showed absolutely just gaining a ton of strength going to 929 millibars. But remember, we have very cold waters off the Gulf Coast. So expect this to weaken, not significantly, but weaken a good 5, 10 miles an hour because it's cold waters. But since it's going so fast, it probably won't weaken too much. But... Uh, as you see, they go from 929 millibars to making landfall as 951, which is still extremely significant as a category. Technically, nine, nine, technically 951 could very well be category 4 or very strong category 5. They have this at 150 miles an hour. So that's technically a borderline category 3, obviously. Uh, like I've been seeing this whole time, could very well be a borderline. But the rain... That's the big issue, that flash flooding and the storm surge. I mean, look at the rain. I mean, that is, that's just, that's that's just pure flash flooding. I mean, they just had Gama, which stalled over land. So, I mean, it's going to be extremely easy. And obviously, we can't forget the rain threats as well for the Mississippi River. As far as Louisiana, or sorry, as far, far as Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Memphis. I mean, you guys are going to be seeing, obviously, some very big flooding issues. And there's also the biggest deaths are storm surge and from the trees that fall on houses. Obviously, Sally Sally brought a ton of damage of flash flooding and trees falling down. So you cannot forget, there's going to be a ton of damage between Mexico, uh, direct lamp on Louisiana and far up the Mississippi River and Ohio River here. And last but not least, we will be checking here the GFS here. As you see, they make a landfall there at a very weak 978. They're still showing 978. So the GFS is basically useless at this point because they don't they didn't catch on. And this is the new update. This is actually the new 18Z. It's still not even fully loaded yet. And they show at 978. When this is at 956. So they GFS at this point is kind of useless for the next 24 hours, but after that, once it actually gets back in the Gulf there, then it'd kind of be useful. 958, 965 millibar landfall based on the GFS, uh, 964, I apologize, for the Louisiana, Louisiana area near Cameron or Morgan City there. But, I mean, the rain. I mean, that's going to be a big issue. The rain, the rain, rain. I mean, it just... It's going to be some big issues. I mean, look at that. Extreme amounts of rain from Mississippi, Arkansas, Georgia, Carolinas, 
Tennessee, and then four sort all the way up to the Mid-Atlantic. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay safe, and I'll do another video tomorrow.